Hey guys, what's up? It's Tech Mike, and today we're taking a look at iOS 9. So starting off right in settings, we're now able to do a search for anything we need to find. Simply click on the top of the button and you're always able to search whatever you need. For example, I'm looking for my Instagram app. That way I can always configure what settings I want to be able to use. So from here we're going to scroll down and find the new setting battery. This is new in iOS 9 and it basically gives you the ability to use less your battery. Once enabled, less battery refreshing is done and also a new yellow light is done on your battery. A new feature as well included is the new keyboard. So this basically gives you upper and lowercase letters visible to you on the screen. And the overall text is brand new and it has a nicer look to it I'd say. One of the coolest new features in iOS 9 is the new Notes app. Once on the app, we're able to section everything out by what emails are chosen. So, once starting a new Note app, I can always type in whatever I want, like usual. But one of the coolest new features included in Notes is the reprogramming, which allows for photos to be taken and added, along with new drawing abilities. So, let's say I want to take a photo of my futon right here. I'll simply take a photo and it's added on. Then from here I'm able to draw whatever I'd like. So given the variety of options we have a ruler, a pencil, a marker, an eraser, and all sorts of other colors to be used. So with the ruler you're able to get a straight line every single time, and any other pencils and markers you're able to just draw out whatever you like and erase. Simple as using a pencil or if you ever had DS Picto Chat. The next thing I'd like to do is explain photos. So the new thing included in photos are the way that it tells you exactly what photos are taken. For example, the selfies that we have on our cameras are now being shown. So once clicking on a photo, you get a whole view of all the photos in that album. That way you're able to scroll through them quick and easily without having to swipe through every single photo. Series had an upgrade too, with a brand new look and brand new technology included. There is no limit to exactly what you can search up now. Apple's also brought back the swipe to the left, which gives us the ability to look at everything that we have now. Now this is a smarter version because it tells you what apps that are suggested to you, also what's nearby, and news things included. Now you can always open them up and get a bigger view. So here's the new news app. It's integrated into your search, that way it's easier to use. Now this is an example of an article that I read with uh, Cecil the Lion. Now this basically opens up what it is inside that app. That way you're able to get a quicker view of everything that's in it. Now for people that use maps the most, Apple has added a brand new way to get integrated in what's around you. This way, everything is available to you right away for whatever you want, including food, movies, gas stations, anything. So for example here, I possibly want to find a coffee shop near me. Here I'll find Dutch Brothers, a big coffee shop in Portland. Now, all I'm going to do is click on it and it's going to tell me all the Dutch Brothers located near my area. Something is simple and effective, it also gives me the reviews and what types of things are nearby. Another useful feature is, if you possibly get a text at the moment and you click on it, you can always click on the top left button and it will always take you back to right where you were. Wrapping this up, we're going to take a look at multitasking, a quick and simple way that you can take a look at exactly what you have open and what it is that you are looking at. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please rate, subscribe, and thumbs up for more content coming soon.